This video covers the emergency procedures and first aid, 20 questions and answers from the CITB book, Health, Safety and Environment Test for Operatives and Specialists. This video is part of a series covering all the questions and answers from this booklet. A link has been provided in the top right corner of this video to continue with the next video in the series. For your information, the actual CSCS test is 45 minutes long. You will need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to be successful in the test. Wishing you all the best. Thank you and let's get started. Question 1. If someone gets some grit in their eye, the best thing you can do is A. Hold the eye open and wipe it with clean tissue paper. B. Ask them to rub the eye until it starts to water. C. Tell them to blink a couple of times. D. Hold the eye open and flush it with sterilized water or eye wash. The correct answer is D. Hold the eye open and flush it with sterilized water or eye wash. Question 2. Someone gets a large splinter in their hand. It is deep under the skin and it hurts. What should you do? A. Use something sharp to dig it out. B. Make sure they get first aid. C. Tell them to ignore it and let the splinter come out on its own. D. Try to squeeze out the splinter with your thumbs. The correct answer is B. Make sure they get first aid. Question 3. Someone collapses with stomach pain and there is no first aider on site. What should you do first? A. Get them to sit down. B. Get someone to call the emergency services. C. Get them to lie down in the recovery position. D. Give them some painkillers. The correct answer is B. Get someone to call the emergency services. Question 4. How should you be informed about what to do in an emergency? Give two answers. A. From the site induction. B. Look in the health and safety file. C. Ask the health and safety executive. HSE. D. Ask the local hospital. E. From the site notice boards. The correct answers are A and E. A. From the site induction. E. From the site notice boards. Question 5. A first aid box should not contain a uh, bandages, b plasters, c safety pins, d over the counter medicines such as aspirin or painkillers. The correct answer is d over the counter medicines such as aspirin or painkillers. Question 6. You will find out about emergency assembly points from a a risk assessment, b a method statement. C. The site induction. D. The permit to work. The correct answer is. C. The site induction. Question 7. The first aid box on site is always empty. What should you do? A. Bring your own first aid supplies into work. B. Find out who is taking all the first aid supplies. C. Find out who looks after the first aid box and let them know. D. Ignore the problem, it is always the same. The correct answer is C. Find out who looks after the first aid box and let them know. Question 8. Does your employer have to provide a first aid box? A. Yes, every site must have one. B. Only if more than 50 people work on site. C. Only if more than 25 people work on site. D. No, there is no legal duty to provide one. The correct answer is A. Yes, every site must have one. Question 9. When would you expect eyewash bottles to be provided? A. Only on demolition sites where asbestos has to be removed. B. Only on sites where refurbishment is being carried out. C. On all sites where people could get something in their eyes. D. On all sites where showers are needed. The correct answer is C on all sites where people could get something in their eyes. Question 10. If you want to be a first aider, you should A. Watch a first aider treating people then try it yourself. B. Ask if you can do a first aider's course. C. Buy a book on first aid and start treating people. D. Speak to your doctor about it. The correct answer is B. Ask if you can do a first aider's course. Question 11. What is the first thing you should do if you find an injured person? A. Tell your supervisor. B. 
Check that you are not in any danger before you check the injured person. C. Move the injured person to a safe place. D. Ask the injured person what happened. The correct answer is B. Check that you are not in any danger before you check the injured person. Question 12. If someone falls and is knocked unconscious, you should first A. Turn them over so they are lying on their back. B. Send for medical help. C. Slap their face to wake them up. D. Give mouth to mouth resuscitation. The correct answer is B. Send for medical help. Question 13. Someone has fallen from height and has no feeling in their legs. You should A. Roll them onto their back and keep their legs straight. B. Roll them onto their side and bend their legs. C. Ensure they stay still and don't move them until medical help arrives. D. Raise their legs to see if any feeling comes back. The correct answer is C. Ensure they stay still and don't move them until medical help arrives. Question 14. Someone working in a deep manhole has collapsed. What is the first thing you should do? A. Get someone to lower you into the manhole on a rope. B. Climb into the manhole and give mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. C. Go and tell your supervisor. D. Shout and raise the alarm as a trained rescue team will be needed. The correct answer is D. Shout and raise the alarm as a trained rescue team will be needed. Question 15. If there is an emergency while you are on site you should first A. Leave the site and go home. B. Phone home. C. Follow the site emergency procedure. D. Phone the health and safety executive. HSE. The correct answer is C. Follow the site emergency procedure. Question 16. If someone is in contact with a live cable the best thing you can do is a. Phone the electricity company. B. Dial 999 and ask for an ambulance. C. Switch off the power and call for help. D. Pull them away from the cable. The correct answer is C. Switch off the power and call for help. Question 17. If you cut your finger and it won't stop bleeding, you should a. Wrap something around it and carry on working. B. Tell your workmates. C. Wash it clean then carry on working. D. Find a first aider or get other medical help. The correct answer is D. Find a first aider or get other medical help. Question 18. What is the one thing a first aider cannot do for you? A. Give mouth to mouth resuscitation. B. Stop any bleeding. C. Give you medicines without authorization. D. Treat you if you are unconscious. The correct answer is C. Give you medicines without authorization. Question 19. If you think someone has a broken leg you should A. Lie them on their side in the recovery position. B. Use your belt to strap their legs together. C. Send for the first aider or get other help. D. Lie them on their back. The correct answer is C. Send for the first aider or get other help. Question 20. If someone burns their hand the best thing you can do is A. Put the hand into cold water or under a cold running tap. B. Tell them to carry on working to exercise the hand. C. Rub barrier cream or Vaseline into the burn. D. Wrap your handkerchief around the burn. The correct answer is A. Put the hand into cold water or under a cold running tap. Congratulations! You have completed the emergency procedures and first aid questionnaire. Please continue with the next video in this series. Link is provided in the top right corner of this video.